In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing a parabola of the form y squared equals ax or x squared equals ay. And to start, I would like to look at both of these two forms and modify them a bit. Since we are used to graphing whenever one variable has been isolated, for this first form, if we were to solve for x on the right hand side by dividing both sides by a, we would have 1 over a y squared equals x. And this form is going to be a little bit easier to graph. Similarly, for the second form, if we solve for y, again dividing both sides by a, 1 over a x squared equals y. And before we jump into this example, let's take a look at one of these in a little bit more detail. We know that y equals x squared is that basic parabola shape. This would be y equals x squared, which is what we get when that 1 over a is just 1 as the leading coefficient in front of x squared. Other possibilities could be when 1 over a is greater than 1, so that coefficient in front of x squared could be 2, 3, and so on. That would make our graph more narrow. It would accelerate quicker as a result of that multiplication. And then if 1 over a is a positive fraction between 0 and 1, like 1 half, 1 third, that would slow down the rate at which our values are increasing. And then if 1 over a is negative, less than 0, we would have the same pattern but upside down. So these are the basic graphs for this form where y is the lone variable. When we look at x being the variable by itself and y squared, we have a similar thing except now it opens to the right when that 1 over a coefficient in front of y squared is greater than 1. It again becomes more narrow. When 1 over a is a positive fraction, it becomes wider. And when 1 over a is negative, the same thing happens, but it now opens to the left. So with all of this in mind, I can look at the expression we're given here, x squared equals negative 4y. If we solve this for y by dividing both sides by negative 4, then 1 over negative 4, x squared equals y. We can see that we have this form, and our 1 over a is negative. These are the parabolas that open up and down. This is negative, so it is going to be opening down. To determine how steep it's going to open up and down, I'm going to plug in a couple of values. We already have our vertex at 0, 0. Since my expression is solved for y, I'm going to choose a couple of other x's to the left and right of x equals 0. So I'm going to choose negative 2 and a positive 2. Starting with the negative 2, when I do that substitution, I get y equals negative 1 fourth times negative 2 squared. This would be negative 1 fourth times 4, or negative 1. Similarly, whenever I plug in y equals 2, I get negative 1 fourth times a positive 2 squared, which again is negative 1 fourth times 4, which is negative 1. Now that I have these three points, I can see that when x is negative 2, my coordinate is negative 1. And when x equals a positive 2, my y coordinate is again negative 1. So this is a wide parabola opening down because 1 over a is negative, And it's wider than the standard parabola because of that fraction, 1 fourth. 